Yeah, there looks like you're uh, trying to get a uh, bill of materials, is what it's uh, called. So if you have your assembly here and you have your parts, and you can either create a drawing view here, or go up to here and uh, do a new uh, drawing. So depending on what it is, English, metric, uh, whatever we have. Um, so just for fun, we're just going to go right here, create a drawing view, and then select our drawing. And then it'll bring in the parts. Then you can orient it uh, however you want. And then do a side and a side, let's say. So here's your parts. Then you're going to go to annotate. And up here, you'll say parts list. And then you'll select your view. And then you can structure it however you'd like. And then hit OK. And it'll ask you to enable it. Say so sure. And you select your parts. So now you have three items, quantity, and then your part number. So depending on what you have there, um, It'll kind of go through and automatically do that for you. Uh, if you want to change that later, um, you can either come into here and right click and say Bill of Materials. And here we are. So then you can look at uh, different ways, uh, depending on how many parts you have. And then you can uh, sort it, do things like that. Um, as far as here, you can do Edit Your Parts List. It brings you straight to here. And you can rename things. You can change your height, uh, your headers. Uh, your table layouts, things like that. Um, but that's pretty much what you're looking for is uh, the uh, bill of materials uh, and the parts list. Um, you can put a general table, things like that. But uh, that's what you're looking for.